guys welcome back to my channel once again if you are new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe for today's video I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial it's been a long time since I have not done a makeup tutorial uh, and I feel so weird looking at myself you guys without braces as you know I did take off my braces if you have not watched the video make sure you watch it it's my last video and I, I do have my retainer on right now um, first things first, I'm going to be using this Aveeno lotion for my face. Um, like I said, I normally have um, oily skin, but during the winter time, like right now with the weather is really crazy, it's kind of like a mixture skin. But even if you have oily skin, you guys use this. I totally love it. it. Like It's not like oily. Like You know what I mean? Like those lotions that are like really buttery. It's like the perfect. And it doesn't have like... And usually, I like to add a little bit extra and like my nose area right here because that's where i tend to get like the most dry 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 skin so you guys this is the perfect combination i'm telling you, when i say the perfect primer combination i am not kidding and i normally don't use like primers but whenever i found this i was like I need to show the whole world like the best primer combination and it's totally inexpensive um so it's these two primers the first one it is the Elva Jelly Pop primer and it's pretty cheap like it's really really cheap so this is the first primer that I'm gonna use and then on top of that one I am going to be use the no pore blend primer this one I got it from Ulta it's only like $18 and this one I think it was like 10 less than $10 I'm gonna be applying this jelly from on my face and it smells so good like watermelon and this one you guys it's not like suit it's not like i'm telling you these products are not like oily oily like you put them on and you see it makes you look like really doing stuff but it's not like too much you know what i mean like it's not like girl what you got on uh, oil on your face or something um but i put like a generous amount all over and it is kind of like a little stickyish, but that goes away you guys it feels like a little sticky next that's whenever i get the the no pore blend primer right here and this is i think what makes everything amazing you guys can just use this one by itself but i like 100 recommend this it's 18 dollars. it's really not a, a lot a lot for a primer because there's some that are super expensive so i just grab like a good amount and i'm gonna zoom you guys so y'all can see like it literally blurs any imperfections like when i say blur like it makes your skin look so soft look watch you guys like i'm gonna put it first on this side like it just mats it and whenever you apply the foundation it looks so smooth like it looks like your photoshop it's amazing you guys and thanks to the girl in ulta that helped me i forgot her name i'll play that all over your face and I'm saying your foundation, you guys, is going to look amazing. When I say amazing, I mean amazing. That's how my skin is looking right now. Like, it's still a bit glowy, but not too much. I'm telling you guys, best thing ever. So then, this is the foundation I'm currently using. It's a Wet n Wild uh, Font the Tint Foundation. So I don't think it's like a full coverage. It's more of a tint as it says on the thing but i do grab like a generous amount and then that's whenever i start applying that all over my face and i'm i'm gonna show you guys like it just looks so amazing i keep saying the word amazing so then i'm just gonna grab a beauty blender and i'm just gonna go ahead and start dabbing that in the foundation just like that so and this foundation is actually, like I said, it's not completely full coverage. But I gotta think in a way, like, it can be if you apply, like, oh, multiple layers. So, you guys, look at that. Do y'all see, like, how, like, smooth it looks? And watch my forehead. Look how smooth it's gonna look. Yeah, I just wait. Do y'all see that? Like, where did the wrinkles go? Because I have, like, wrinkles. Do y'all see that? Like, I'm not crazy. I know y'all see that and i'm trying to hurry up you guys because we're doing carne asada at my parents house and i have to go buy this stuff and i'm over here uh doing a youtube video i was gonna do a different tutorial but i was like what can i do i can still look cute but not too extra you know 
and I was like oh yeah I can do that because I was gonna do like a Thanksgiving look um so next I'm gonna go in with the concealer and I'm just using the Milani concealer I really like this concealer it's really good and I just apply some and I typically let it dry just for a little bit um I let it dry for a little bit so um So it can like um paque se pegue más so like it can stick better. <laughs> I mean so, so it can apply it better if that's over so it can apply better. So then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that. Just like that too. And everything blends like perfectly you guys like like it's like butter. Like mantequilla. Like I like to go in with my fingers too. I feel like just you know like skin to skin makes it look even better like I'm not trying to do like too much makeup like I said just something pretty natural natural <laughs> so next step I'm gonna be using is green it's the powder I am going to be using just a translucent powder actually this is the covergirl clean professional translucent powder so I'm just going to grab that powder and apply it underneath, mainly underneath first, like the places that I usually crease. And then the leftovers, I'm just going to go around and a bit and just place it all around. I forgot to turn on the camera. But next, I'm just going to be doing some bronzer and just apply that up my cheekbones like that. And then on my forehead, but my forehead looks so smooth, you guys. This lighting looks a little bit bright, but I promise you guys that it's not um, that bright. Like, it just looks so smooth. Like, I wish you guys would see it in person. I completely love this. And then this one. So next, I am just going to be going in with just a blush. Any blush that you of your choice and just apply that. So I feel like you can't really see it. I'm gonna use in this one wild blush. <laughs> I changed blush up. I'm just gonna go ahead and oh oh yes. Apply that. Just like that. This one. So let me go ahead, you guys, and apply my lashes, and I will be right back. To to show you the lipstick and the rest of the finality how my skin looks I'll be right back everybody actually you guys I put my lashes um they're currently drying I did put some lipstick on I'm using this NYX like nude color right here it's super cute I'm gonna put a little bit of highlight too and I've been having this highlighter for like five years um I know makeup expires but it works and I really like it so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply just a little bit just oh just a little bit not too much and then on my nose cuz you know I contoured it just a little bit like I'm not really going to be at my parents house but you know for the video for you guys so now I'm just waiting for these lashes to dry which they're taking a long time but alright you guys so I finally finished my makeup. It did take me a while. Actually, like almost 40 minutes to do my full face, but also I was talking on. Uh, excuse this lash, it looks a little bit funny. I know. I put it a little bit higher, but uh, let me I'm trying to like put it down <laughs> a little bit. Um just excuse my lash. It makes me look like I have a lazy eye or something. <laughs> okay, I need to stop. Anyways, you guys, so I just finished my makeup. Uh, I put my lashes on. I mean, they're going to be temporary. I'll probably take them up in a little bit, you guys, because I look like freaking crazy. Do Are my eyes like twinkles or is it just the lash that's making my eyes look twinkles? I don't know. Um, But anyways, you guys, let me zoom in so you guys can see the final product and go buy these two products that I'm telling you guys they are amazing. So again, um, let me put it so you guys want to screenshot them. These two right here. So it's the e.l.f. And then this one, I don't know what, it just says no pore blend primer, touch, and so I'll put a picture so you guys can see it. Um, I'll take a picture. Um, but anyways, let me zoom in because I know that's what you guys want to see. Okay. So this is really how my skin looks. Obviously no filter or anything. 
But tell me you guys that it does not look super smooth. Like it is super smooth. And obviously I don't have like full full coverage foundation even though it might seem like I do but I don't. Like look at that you guys. It's just like amazing. And look at my forehead. Like my wrinkles. Like where are my wrinkles? I don't got no wrinkles no more. They're gone. Well my skin looks like mantequilla. So pretty. But well, this is the end of the video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if these products work for you. Comment down below if you tried this combination before or if I'm like, you know, like the first one creator. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm not. Um, but make sure you comment down below. Please like this video and share it to your friends and your family so, you know, I can get somewhere in life. I'm kidding. Um, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.